Well, it's been about a month since I posted. Um, it is my birthday on Catalina. So, 49. Um, not the big 50 yet. I have been doing really well. Uh, I'm here with my family. And so I went for a morning swim. It felt fantastico. There's a little cute pink house. Mare's house. Um, now we're gonna head up the store. Get a little mimosa stuff and um, get some awesome stuff to make breakfast burritos and then off to more adventures today. It's a glorious day in Catalina. So I'm gonna be doing videos throughout the day. Um, I had so much to catch everybody up on. A uh, couple things. Like, you know, life keeps going, even though you're like, hey, I um, still have cancer, but I'm just not thinking about it. I'm just not. So I got a new job, so excited, so excited. So I'm still working with Intermountain Healthcare, but I'm gonna be the Children's Health Clinical Education Consultant. So that is kind of like doing all pediatric education for like nurses who start and, um, education for nurses about taking care of pediatric patients way excited and of course you know you think about what if my cancer comes back what if i can't do it i'm like you know i'm feeling great i'm gonna do it and i'm gonna go for the job i want so i got that job i start after my vacation so i mean it couldn't have worked out better um that i finished my last my last day was friday and then i start when i get back so um, there is part of me that is so, like when things feel so good and are so good, I am super scared for the other shoe to drop. Like just like, it just, uh, I get scared about things being good. I know that's totally messed up, but, um, but yeah, I'm like, oh, things are so good that I'm um, scared it's gonna end or it's, you know, I'm just gonna get a little taste of it and then it's gonna be bad. So I'm enjoying every moment. Um, so that happened. Um, my daughter broke her collarbone flipping over by candles and, you know, mother and nurse of the year. She was like, I'm in pain, but she still could move her arm. And, um, and the medic where she was, she was on a, a trip with the good friends of ours. And, um, and they were like, ah, it doesn't look broken. You're okay. She went to dance. She went to Lagoon. Finally day 10, she's like, mom, it still hurts. I felt it. The minute I felt it, I was like, oh gosh, we gotta go to Instacare. It was like pointing up. So yeah, it was 100% broken. Broken, broken, gone, gone. Who knows that, what's that from? Um, so it was broken. Luckily no surgery. We put it in a sling and she's been swimming here because it's been about four weeks now. So yeah, I felt kind of crappy about that. I've never been good with broken bones with my kid. Like if they have dehydration or fevers or anything like that, I'm like, we're taking you in. But broken bones, I have not been so good. So she just has the highest pain tolerance of any child I've known. Let's see, moving on. Okay, so while I was um, taking meds for, you know, chemo and um, one of the things that uh, I took was Ativan, which kind of helped with nausea and sleep. And when you're taking chemo and feel terrible, I don't care what I'm taking. Like, I just want to feel better. So Ativan is a benzodiazepine, kind of makes you feel a little bit better. And Xanax is also a benzodiazepine that is like, you know, I would get anxious and feel horrible about going through chemo and cancer treatment scares the shit out of you. And so, Pretty much from March until oh, like a month ago, I was taking off and on Ativan or Xanax and at night, like it would help me sleep, it would help with nausea. And so then I stopped chemo in March um, and 
then it was kind of like, well, it's still kind of, it helps me sleep. It's not like I'm getting high. It's not like I even feel it really. And so one, about a month ago, I was like, maybe I should just not take it. Well, had no idea that I would feel so shitty not taking it. Had no idea it was that strong or I wasn't abusing it technically. Anyway. Okay, so now more beach time and there's Woolly Man and there's Catherine and there's Maggie. So had, had a good swim, went up to Wrigley Memorial, gorgeous. And it's just stunning, it just doesn't get better than this. I will show you what I'm looking at. And this is uh, just sitting up here and this is my view. Come on, this is me, just right over the ocean. <laughs> so, another post from Catalina, but this time we're at Two Harbors in a Palapa. Hey! In our little Palapa, where we've got um, our waters, we got my kids. We got that view. And it's a beautiful day. Another beautiful day in Catalina Island. So yeah, these are those moments. If you've ever read the book, Frederick, <clears throat> it's a children's book about mice. Hi. And how Frederick, that all the mice are getting ready for winter and they're all gathering food and they're all getting ready. And Frederick decides to just sit there and they, don't know what he's doing and he doesn't it doesn't look like he's doing anything but what he's gathering is thoughts and sunshine and words and this is what I'm doing I'm gathering all the feelings all the sounds all the warmth all the ocean for those times that aren't great that I can look back and remember this moment anyway just a little uh a little plug for Frederick's. I think it's Leo Leone who did the book. If, if it's not, I'm, and I'm wrong. I'm sorry. Anyway, another beautiful day. Now I'm sitting up at the top of, um, I actually forgot what it's called, but it's in memory of uh, one of the Bannings and it's a fantastic view of Catalina. Fantastic view. Ah, another great adventure, another day with the fam. And then we're going to uh, go snorkeling right down there. It's a beautiful day.